my name is Fiona Solis and this is an interview with the travelers and my couch surfers. Today, my guest from China. So how are you? Fine. Um, fine. After lunch. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Please introduce yourself. Um, hi guys, um, I'm Pan. I'm, I'm from China and travel from Laos to Thailand. Uh -huh. Cool. That's nice. So, Pan, how did you know about culture thing and how was your first culture thing experience? Um, my friend recommended the course surfing to me, so... Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's when I yeah. found out the culture thing. How was your first culture thing experience? My first uh, express in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai, cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I found a host um, from Switzerland, a mm. Swiss girl. Yeah, she's friendly. That's nice. So, say hi to her. Hello, thank you for giving him a good uh, memories of couch surfing and good experience. And also, he is my couch surfer. He's gonna stay for three days before he's he gonna fly to China. Mm -hmm. And um, welcome, I'm so happy to host you, my friend, and travel. And what made you decide to travel? Uh -huh. um, I quit my job and uh, I broke up with my ex girlfriend, so <laughs> I travel. That's nice. So it's See, mm -hmm. you are moving forward, mm -hmm. you forget and let go mm -hmm. the thing because as what I've said, nothing lasts forever, mm -hmm. people come and go, yeah. it, these people like give us the meaning of life, mm -hmm. like give us lesson learned mm -hmm. that we put it in our mind or like experience. So now, as what I've said, mm -hmm. the world is your girlfriend, so you continue to travel and like learning things. What is the first country that you visited outside China? Oh, maybe Nepal? Nepal? Yeah, Nepal. So how was your first ever experience in that place, <laughs> in your first travel experience? I don't know, I just look around, I just look around. I don't know where I travel, where, where, where blah blah blah. I just look around, yeah. Yeah, because it's very uh, unusual for me because mostly Chinese people, mm -hmm. they travel with big car, big truck, and all these groups of travelers. <laughs> That's why, like, it's like that's why I interview people, and especially I host you, like, to mm -hmm. China, mm -hmm. which is for me, I am very ignorant. Like, oh, like, why Chinese they don't solo travel and like things like that. So it's good that as you, as a Chinese, I can ask this question because I know that everyone like mm -hmm. wondering too. Because every time I see uh -huh. big truck, big cars, uh -huh. always that like, group tour and follow. <laughs> but you have this courage and traveling alone like see things that you know like you want to be like out of your comfort zone and just let go and uh, travel i just do um, i just want to travel um, as local mm. uh, because of this cool travel like local yep. so yeah it's anyway it's not so far to your country yet right so mm -hmm. it's good so what is your best traveling experience so what is like unforgettable travel experience that you have Maybe Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. So how was that? What is what is what is that? What is that? Uh, the place that why unforgettable, unforgettable to you? The weather is good. The people, all the people, all the people are friendly. Yeah. That's true. That's nice. I like it. So I'm glad that you had a good time and great experience in Chiang Mai. Beautiful country that you've been visited. Like country that you really like. Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. Cool. That's nice. So welcome to Thailand. So how do you travel in budget? Um, car surfing. By less things. Mm. Uh, by bus hiking. Cool. You do hiking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So have you tried also hitchhiking? Um, I hiking in Tibet many years ago. Oh, cool. uh -huh. Nice. So yeah, so, so he traveled through culture thing, the way he's like uh, the badge thing and things like that. So it's really cool. So if you're giving a chance to disappear right now, which country do you wanna arrive? Which country? Um, maybe Mongolia. Mongolia. Yeah. Why Mongolia? That's cool. That's interesting. Why Mongolia? We are near. It's so cold. So so close. I, I, I feel comfortable. 
But Thailand is oh, so hot. Yeah, it's so hot. Because in China you have snow, right? You have the... Yeah, I live in the north of China. They are cold nearby Siberia, so... Oh, that's cool. So he's going to Mongolia. So that's nice. One last thing. Um, yeah, by the way, I have one question that um, I'm very intrigued. Mm -hmm. So because the culture, the things that as far as I know, like because when I meet travelers, they said that people in China, they eat dog. So, uh -huh. and in your opinion, is it everyone eat dog? Is it a culture or no. because as, 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 as a Chinese person like you, I want to know, I don't want to like hearing from other people, uh -huh. especially from Western people that I don't even know if they're talking right. Uh -huh. So at least I'm going to ask the right person that can answer these questions that uh -huh. bothers in my mind. I've heard a lot of people as so well. Is Chinese people eat dog? So, um, there are so many minority of China, so um, not everyone um, Han Chinese, you know. Mm -hmm. um, not everyone is dog. Yeah, sure. So many, many minority, we don't eat dog. Quite, yeah. quite. So, I think, I think uh, in the same in the Philippines, uh -huh. a few, few years. The people do, but now the new generation you have like animal cruelty, mm -hmm. animal like um, like protection and things like that. So it's getting better and getting good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you for answering. So not everyone is like not everyone in the, in China. <laughs> they, yeah, right. So uh, yeah. no, even in Vietnam they also do eat frog or um, dog. Yeah. But every I think every place like Thailand they have a lot of exotic foods, insects and things like that. So it's just things that uh, just open your mind when you travel and yeah, yeah. adapt you don't have to eat you don't have to try if you don't want to just enjoy and things like that advice to people who want to travel and never travel and you're here traveling mm -hmm. how can you advise oh. how? well I don't know how to say it traveling is a, a part of your life um, it's like um, sleeping fucking eating yeah. A part of life. True. So include that to your life. Thank you. Bye. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Always remember the world is our house. Countries are living rooms. Lakes is an ocean. So it's really cool. Travel safe. Bye.